हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज़ हार्दिक पटेल एंड आई क्रिएट वीडियोस बेस्ड ऑन माय बेस्ट नॉलेज ऑफ पाइथन जेंगो एंड रिलेटेड टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड आल्सो आई एम ट्राइंग टू मेक वीडियोस सच अ वे दैट यू कैन बी अ गुड डेवलपर वाइल्ड अंडरस्टैंडिंग फ्यू कंसेप्ट राइट सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट स्ट्रैटेजी डिजाइन पैटर्न सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इट सो वॉट इज द स्ट्रैटेजी डिजाइन पैटर्न सो इट्स अ बिहेवियरल डिजाइन पैटर्न which allows you to group different types of strategies under one abstraction class and also it allows you to decide strategy run time as per your requirements so what does that mean let me give you an example of chess suppose you have implemented one strategy like easy strategy so when you when user selects that i want to play a chess with computer with the easy level then program will automatically choose the easy strategy and according to that it will take the steps against that user same way you have developed few more strategies there like a medium strategy or a hard strategy or very hard strategy right and you want to create another strategy then you just need to add a new class which which just implements that new strategy and you can allow user to choose that that's all right so that's how you can implement strategy pattern now let's talk about the example okay so here as you can see strategy.py and strategyfix.py so i am going to show two examples actually example is the same just that how we can solve that example using strategy design pattern so here as you can see we have one password generator function sorry it's a class and generate password is a method of that class now as you are a user here what you are doing here that you are instantiating this password generator class and inside that class you do, you do not need to pass anything because it doesn't take anything but when you are calling this generate password method you are passing what kind of password type you want suppose you want alpha password that means it should use only characters and generate the password right and you are getting that so how that uh, this function is implemented let's look at that so as you can see here uh, it takes password type is equal to alpha and uh, it you can of course write your code here write your logic here how you want to use those characters from abcd and uh, you can generate random password whatever length you want right so that is under uh, level of uh, programming but here you have to write the logic then second thing is if you are passing password type is equal to numeric then you will generate random password using only numbers and suppose if you are not passing anything it might generate random password using characters and numbers whatever it is right so here if you want to add something new kind of password suppose you want to add complex password type equal complex and in that complex you might use uh, special characters as well right so what you have to do is that you have to change the generate password that means you are touching this existing program which is already in uh, oh, uses right so that is the problem now how can we solve this problem so let me show you that already solved example i am not going to waste time to write the program here because it's very much easier and we can understand it by show, uh, by just watching that okay so you can of course practice this uh, by looking at this video and just try to replicate this program and you will understand better okay so let me run this program first and then we will go to that fixed problem so as you can see here generator password is alpha1 so that is giving us abcd and if i pass this here is numeric and if i save it it gives me the password using abcd123 why because yeah sorry spelling mistake okay so if you pass this numeric you will get num numeric password okay now let's look at the solve problem so here if you can see here we have implemented this uh, strategy pattern and uh, same program is written rewritten actually and let's look at that so what we need to do okay before that i will show you the what are the components we need to understand for that so let's go to this component section where you will have main class which is you already have seen similar to this password generator okay and then main class should not be uh, open to 
clo uh, open to modification so it should be closed for modification if we uh, if you have seen my new video that is previously i have just posted that is about solid principles one of the principle is that open close principle where uh, i mean that concrete classes should be open to extend i mean this uh, interface and main class should be closed for modification okay so here main class will be closed for modification and this will use this interface class of strategy and whatever methods we have declared in this uh, interface those should be called by this main class okay and when you want to add any new strategy you just need to extend this interface and implement another class which should have whatever logic you want to add okay now using this three components we are going to build strategy pattern okay let's look at that solve problem so you will understand that let me close this now okay so here as you can see we have created one password strategy and we are extending this abc class which is abstract class and we are also declaring one abstract method okay so here actually we do not need to do anything we just say pass okay and this password strategy should be extended by these three classes okay and like this all right so as you can see uh, this uh, abstract class has generate method which is also abstract and uh, we have implemented three strategies alpha password numeric password and default strategy i mean you can say default password strategy or something like that and now we have the same class which is main class again this is main class and uh, as you can see this is one strategy interface okay now these are the three strategies as we discussed in chess example that easy medium and hard and suppose you want to add new strategy here you just create extra class and that's it okay now as i said user should be able to choose that strategy so same way we are as a user creating an object of password generator now if you remember that in generate method uh, generate password method we were just getting password type but now we are not getting password type but instead we are just using password strategy instance so we have to pass the instance of that particular strategy whichever strategy we want to use so suppose we want to use easy strategy in in chess example then you will pass easy same case if you want numeric password strategy i mean you want to have you want to uh, want a password generated using numerics only then you will pass numeric password strategy object okay so it will accept that and it just runs the generate method of that instance right so it's very simple so that way this is now as you can see this is very clean and ex very much maintainable code right so this is how you create strategy pattern now let's run it and we see if it works fine as you can see here we are able to generate password numerically because we pass the numeric password strategy suppose if you want to have default password strategy or you can write the code like this suppose if user in we can take input right like this uh enter strategy okay and if strategy if not strategy okay then i will pass default strategy here okay so that way you can build like this i mean this is your code uh, this this is touchable this is main program but uh, if you see the pattern the main class of password generation module which is password generator which implement generate password method which takes strategies object so it can run the generate method which is also uh, this uh, generate password understands only password strategy it doesn't have to do anything with this concrete classes right so now this is how it is and let's look at some pros and cons okay so what are the pros so as as we already discussed it follows open close principle so you are open to extends in in such a way that you can add new strategy 
but closed for extension so so main class cannot be modified but instead you can extend and add a new strategy by extending the abstract class right so this is the open close principle which is followed here in the strategy pattern so as i said this is also flexible and maintainable because you will be able to maintain the code so there is another example i would like to say that uh, suppose i am uh, implementing some module where i know that there are couple of solutions i have in my mind right but what is the short term solution which i will build right now and i will give that as a one class and i will build the second solution which is more longer version this is very much strong version then i will build that second class and in future i will switch that so you can switch strategies very easily so this is another prone of the strategy pattern so only cons con is that uh, user of the strategies should know how each strategies are different to each other so in my example right i am the user of those two strategies but i should be able to know i at least i should know that what those two different strategies does as i said uh, in this password example right so if i don't know what this uh, numeric password strategy does then how could i use that strategy at all so that is another concern only that so just make sure that you use this strategy when it is most required this pattern okay so that's all i can say here and yeah that's pretty much from this video if you have liked this video please hit the like button and share with your it friends please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to get the notification of my new upcoming videos thank you and see you soon in the next video